This is just ridiculous. Like, nobody needs something this bright. GTR Lighting has been known for having the brightest LED bulb upgrades in the world for many years. And today, they've outdone themselves. In my hands, I have the new GTR Lighting iLED bulbs from the Ultra Series product line. That ILED stands for indicator. A lot of people upgrade their front and rear turn signals, their brake lights, and their reverse lights for brighter lights. Not only does it look cool uh, when they're turned on, that super bright, intense, colorful light, but they also look really cool turned off. One of my biggest pet peeves are in a headlight where you can see the front amber turn signal glowing there in the headlight. It makes the headlight look very outdated. A simple solution to that is to replace your incandescent light bulbs with an LED bulb. The GTR Lighting Carbide, for example, is this small light bulb that plugs and play. It's got a dark finish. And now, the iLED from GTR Lighting is another good option. Both of these solve that problem of having ugly headlights when they're off. The difference, though, of the iLED is when it's on, it's completely unmistakably bright. These things are absolutely crazy, and I guarantee you nobody will ever miss the fact that you're turning again from the front to the back. These things are just absolutely insane, and they come in all the different bulb sizes that you need. This one here is amber on the back, so this is amber parking light and amber turn signal. This one is silver on the back, which indicates that it's white. This is great for a reverse light. This one is red on the back. So it's red parking light and red turn signal. And then you have the blue version that is a switchback. So switchback is a technology where it goes between white and amber. If you wanna learn more about what switchback is or if you should choose it for your project, go check out our other video where I go in depth on many switchback items, explain the technology, explain what's great. I'll give you a quick overview here. Basically, your front turn signals normally have two modes. You have a dim amber parking light and a bright amber flashing turn signal. If your vehicle operates like that on the front and you put a switchback bulb in place, that dim amber will now be a bright white. It simulates a modern style LED daytime running light. And then when you turn on your turn signal, it still blinks amber, but now it's a super bright amber. So it's a really cool modern look on an old school technology vehicle. And it really fits any vehicle that has those two circuits in a front turn signal. In every application you put this thing in, it is plug and play. The only difference is sometimes you need the turn signal adapter that goes in line. This is better than any other module in the market because it doesn't require any cutting of your wiring, splicing, or drilling holes. Generally speaking, if you're putting this product in a front turn signal or a rear turn signal, you're gonna need that turn signal adapter. The way it works is you unscrew the wiring and the turn signal adapter goes in between. It's really important to identify the arrows on the turn signal adapter and the bulb wiring and make sure that you line those up. There's a notch and a keyway, but because it's all plastic, it's possible to install it incorrectly. Get that lined up correctly, put the adapter on, and then add the bulb adapter on the backside. Again, let's line up the arrows. Now, when you're ordering your iLED bulbs and you're intending to put them in the turn signal, make sure you order the turn signal adapter also. It's totally optional because sometimes these bulbs work without it. What I recommend doing is get the turn signal adapters, install the bulb without them, check to see if they hyperflash. If you have a bad flashing problem or a bulb out indicator, then add the turn signal adapter. Generally speaking, if you're using these on a parking light application, brake light or reverse light, something that doesn't blink with your turn signals, you shouldn't need the turn signal adapter. But if you do have some kind of error messages, the turn signal adapter should solve that real quick. Before you just go order bulbs for your truck, it's important to know what fits your vehicle. You got a couple options. Number one, take the original bulb socket out of your vehicle, pop the bulb out, and there's going to be some text on here that tells you what it is. Once you know what bulb you have, use a cross-reference guide and identify which LED variant you need that fits. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to know what works, go to headlightrevolution.com, put in your year, make, and model, and we'll show you which of the GTR iLED bulbs fits your truck. No guesswork required. But once you get the amber bulb, then you also need the matching connector. You can see on the original 3157 bulb, it has this square plastic connector with two tabs on the side. 
so the LED connector needs to match that. Pretty easy to see that these are the same connector. The cool part is we don't need anything between these connections. On the top of the bulb, there's a notch with an arrow. You line up the arrows, you press it together, and you connect it like that. One more thing that I recommend with any bulb application that has an external connection is to fill that in with dielectric grease. Even though there's a little O-ring and a cover, it's still possible to get moisture in here and damage the connectors. A little bit of dielectric grease goes a long way to protect your investment. It's really simple to use. Morimoto has a specially formulated green dielectric grease for headlight bulb connections and other external LED bulb wiring. And wherever you have the connection, right there where the pins meet up and right here where the connectors touch, we're going to add dielectric grease. What this does is it creates an extra physical barrier to prevent moisture from getting in. The only reason that these work is because the pins are making a good contact. You can see that now I have some grease around here also, and that's really all it takes. Now I know that my connection is sealed from the elements better than it ever would be from the factory. Once you have your bulb adapter connected to the bulb, sealed with dielectric grease, the next part is to identify the mounting configuration of the old connector. Because the way it works is originally your bulb was held in place with the bulb socket and the socket installs into the housing with these different mounting tabs. Now as you can see this bulb doesn't have any of that and when we replace your old bulb with the new bulb this is not going to fit in there anymore this bulb now fits directly into the headlight housing. Here's the opening where the bulb goes and you can see the different notches. That's where these notches used to go. But with the new bulb, when you install it, the bulb itself fits in there. But because it doesn't have those same mounting tabs, it just spins freely and will fall out. We need to recreate the mounting tabs from the original bulb socket and it comes with a kit to do that. The way to do it is to hold the old adapter up to the new bulb and identify where the mounting tabs are on your original bulb socket and then start building. If you have a really wide bulb socket like this one, you're going to need an adapter collar to add a thicker ring of diameter around the bulb. If you have a smaller bulb like this one, a 7443, you're not going to need that extra collar. So do some quick test fit measuring and only use the collar if you need that extra depth to keep it in place. Now there's two sets of screws that you can get depending on the bulb type that you have. You have long screws and short screws. If you're using the adapter collar, you're going to need to use the longer screws. If you're not using the adapter collar, then the screws will thread directly into the bulb to mirror the position of the tabs on your bulb socket. So if I hold it up like this, you can see that the original bulb has a tab here and my new bulb has a screw base tab here. That's right, these Allen screws act as the bulb sockets that will hold the new bulb in place. So I have one here and here. So I need to have one here and here. Use the included Allen wrench, take the screw that you need, either long or short, and install it into the bulb where you think it needs to go. This might take some trial and error, and that's okay. Once you have your screws in place, you're usually going to have either three or four depending on the application. Then you can go back to the back side of your headlight or taillight and see if what you built fits. So as you can see, I've got two of the three lined up, but this bottom one needs to be moved over one hole. So let me do that and we'll try again. Now that I move the screw over one hole, they all line up and I can twist it in place. Now that you've installed your screws on the bulb so they align with the mounting points in your headlight or taillight opening, you also need a seal. You see the original bulbs have this rubber grommet that keeps it tight from wiggling and doesn't let moisture in. The GTR lighting iLED bulbs have these foam seals to do the same thing. So the same way that the rubber seal is installed on the original bulb connector, we're going to install that on the iLED bulb. Now when you go to install, this is going to compress and keep the bulb tight and keep moisture out. Now that you have that grommet installed, you can put the whole thing in your headlight assembly, twist it, you can see you can wiggle it and it's not moving, no moisture is going to get in there, and the last thing to do is connect the new bulb where the old bulb came out. Now because we have it set up like this now where this whole assembly 
used to be tucked away inside the headlight out of the elements. Well, now it's actually open to the elements and that presents a pretty big risk for corrosion and contamination. Now, this type of bulb is not all too uncommon. The GTR lighting ultra reverse bulbs act this way where they have a universal collar and they leave the original bulb connector out of the elements. And there's other bulbs out there like the VLEDs Triton that do the exact same thing. What I would recommend if I was doing this install on my own vehicle is use more of that Morimoto dielectric grease and fill in the gaps where you have potential for moisture getting in. If you want to go above and beyond, you can also use some massive heat shrink and cover the whole thing up. Now, I don't know about you, but when I buy high quality LED lighting upgrades, I want to protect them. And this green dielectric grease, specifically formulated for out in the elements lighting connectors, is going to be cheap insurance to make sure that I don't get problems in that connector down the road. Sometimes when you're doing this turn signal install, you don't need the turn signal adapter, but if you install the bulb and it hyper flashes or give you an error, remember to install that cylinder that is the turn signal adapter in the wiring. You're gonna want to unscrew the wiring from the bulb adapter and then the turn signal adapter is gonna go in line. Remember to line up those arrows. It is possible to install this incorrectly if you don't have the arrows lined up. And then the other side of the turn signal adapter plugs into the bulb adapter. There's arrows on this one too. So make sure those are lined up as well. Now reinstall everything and you should be good to go without any hyperflash issues. Now when talking about the rear facing bulbs in your tail lights like parking lights, brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, a good rule of thumb is if it has a red reflector on it, use a red bulb. If it has an amber reflector, use an amber bulb. So as you can see up here we have our brake light and it's red. So we're going to use the bulb with the red indicator on the back. So I have my red bulb. I've already built where the screws go to match up to the collar. I've got the foam O-ring in place and I've got my bulb wiring connected, sealed with dielectric grease. The insole on the back is the exact same as the front. You take out your bulb and I've got the connector that matches it. So this would fit a 7440, a 7443, and several other bulb types. If you have any questions about which bulb you need, either go to the website, put in your year, make, and model, and we'll do it for you, or you can reach out to our customer service team. We're happy to help. Install the LED bulb into the original connector, and then instead of installing the connector into the assembly, the bulb is gonna go into the assembly. First up, you have your stock incandescent front turn signal bulb. This is that amber glowing glass that blinks on and off, and it looks like you would expect. Between blinks, you see that ugly glowing amber color, and it's not very bright. It does fill up the entire reflector like it should, but the intensity is definitely lacking. Now let's take a look at the Xenon Depot XTR VF LED. This virtual filament design looks exactly like the stock bulb, except a much more desirable color. It's not as bright as the other options, but it's definitely an improvement over stock. Now let's take a look at the VLED's Triton V6. You've got that great looking amber LED color, and it's definitely a lot brighter than the Xenon Depot or the stock bulb. Last and certainly not least, take a look at the GTR Lighting iLED Ultra in amber color. This is the only bulb in the lineup that uses that new gorgeous LED bulb amber color technology to give you the most radiant and rich looking amber color possible. Even the reds on the tail light look deeper and more vibrant than anything else. When measuring the two between GTR iLED and the V6 Triton from VLEDs, the GTR lighting bulb is significantly brighter. It's also a lot more intense, so drivers farther away are gonna be able to see it. When you swap out your front turn signal bulbs from an amber to the GTR lighting iLED switchback, you get this effect. On regular running lights or parking lights, you get this bright white look. And when you flip it to turn signals, it goes to this super bright amber color. On your tail lights, if you take out your old incandescent bulb and replace it with the ILED red bulb, you get this effect. Incredibly bright compared to the stock bulb. This is going to fit your rear parking lights, brake lights, and turn signals. The GTR lighting ILED bulbs from the Ultra Series are here and they will blow your mind. If you want brighter turn signals, this is the solution for you. It's really the best option on the market. 
So go ahead and try these on your next lighting upgrade project. If you want to see what else fits your vehicle, of course we have tons of videos for vehicle specific applications, lighting technology, and education. And please go to headlightrevolution.com, put in your year, make and model, and we'll show you everything we have for your car and truck.